Hello! Love Suicune. Love the idea of the Lodi Colo. Uh, let's see how enthusiastic we can go with Enthusiastic Dance. Finally playing this out, because we'll play the Suicune. And the next video, you'll see Entei V. It's the same deck, only one's water, one's fire. With Ludi Colo. Let's see how awesome they are. But of course, Suicune V is just amazing. Fleet Footed, Blizzard Rondo, and why this one's the best. It is just a two energy retreat cost, so Balloon works on it. Entei does not, sadly. But you also get Melanie to help out with this Pokemon. But anyway, uh, with the deck, of course, you know, Ludicolo. Ludicolo! With Enthusiastic Dance, when you play it, to evolve it, you can use the ability, and then your basic Pokemon this turn do 100 more damage. So you're up to 220, can now do 320, and you're knocking out big Pokemon, which is nice. And of course, you have the Intellion line to help fetch out everything you need, basically the Rare Candies, because you want the Rare Candies, to get out the Ludicolos, you have no low tads. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. You have low tads, but you have no Lombres. Uh, Mana Fee to help protect your bench. And Capacious Bucket to help fetch out your water energies. You have your stuff to get. Your level balls, your uh, quick balls, your evolution incenses to help get out your Pokemon when you need them. The rare candy is again. Boom. Get out the Ludicolo for this turn and start knocking something really big. Mew, perhaps? And then scoop up net to reuse them again. Put low tad down and then Ludicolo again when you have another rare candy and you can rare candies easily with the shady dealings. See what I'm saying? It is a nice, it works very well. It surprisingly does. It is a very well planned, well thought out deck for the most part. And it does include some funness. Oh yeah, and there's also more balls to play with. Ultra Ball. You have Choice Belt so you can do another 30. So you can be doing... Like 350, or you can also put the Cape of Toughness on to help make your guys last longer. Raihan to help with that energy. Melanie, she is just greatness. That's why she makes, out of all the three legendaries, Suicune is still best because you can utilize Melanie with it pretty easily. I mean, you can use it with the other ones, but then I feel like you're just getting clunky. <laughs> Marnie's and Boss's orders to round up the rest of the supporters. We have water energies and, of course, some capture energy. Just a couple to help, you know, set up. But Melanie, she really, really helps out with uh, the two energy attacks that you need with Suicune. And it's just uh, an amazing deck. She really helps out. And the Ludicolo has been a great uh, uh, partner with Suicune for a while now. And it's fun to do this. And I can't wait to try it out with Entei next. Will it work with uh, Raikou, though? Hmm. Let's play a game here, shall we? Would you like to go first? I would love to go first. You know it. We got a Suicune. I mean, the deck, I just... Oh, Suicune. I'm so glad that Suicune got... Finally got a good... They screwed him over on the EX lately and the GX's. Garbage. I'm glad they gave him a great V. And he was the first V. And the other two are just copycats. Of Suicune. Therefore, Suicune's the original and the far superior because he didn't have to copy the other ones. They copied off of his greatness. Sorry, other ones, but Suicune is keen. We're Suicune fans here, people. Live with it. Also, how y'all doing, by the way? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and get the word out for some more fun here at uh, Professor Jiggly. Jigglypuff uh, likes to have the fun. If we had energy, somehow we could go right away with the rare candies we have and the incense and just be like, cool, we can hit and knock out this Rayquaza. Sadly, we didn't get any energy, so we're going to need ways to get energy. But I feel like we should be okay because we can knock out, thanks to Ludicolo, uh, blue. One of my joyful friends is Jubba Blue. What a weird deck. Why the Victini? Interesting. Why the Victini? Weird. What a mishmash of a deck. Let's fleet foot first. 
Hmm. Now this makes things tricky. Who do we have? I feel like yeah, we have no choice. It's fine. I'll put that on that one in case he gets knocked out by Rayquaza next turn. We'll do that. Goodbye, double rare candies, double deliciousness. Uh, we're good here though. We can get two water out. We can set it up for the next turn. If it survives, that'll be great. But it would have to survive. I mean, it is what it is. But what's really cool is at least we'll hit for weakness with Victini. Like, we don't have to worry about Ludi Cola for that one. Even if, like right now, we're hitting for what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 11, 140, 160, 190. We don't even need Ludicolo to knock out the Victini VMAX if they decide to evolve into it. Uh, if they decide to attack, they can do the, obviously, the rebirth thing. But if they decide to attack with uh, this guy, we'll survive. Unless they put Choice Band on it. Which again would suck. <sighs> but it is what it is. Hmm. Who knows how this game is going to play out. Bum bum bum, the indomitable snow monkey. Dun dun dun. Oh. I would have V starred for the choice band. Just to get the knockout. Don't know why they didn't do that. Choice belt. You know what it is. I put the brain in the robot, you know. <clears throat> Interesting that they decide to say nuh uh. I mean, we can knock that out now. But we need Melanie. Can she get us a rare candy? If I can get Ludi Colo, just need a rare candy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sir. Get that rare candy. All right, all right. So uh, Arceus is going down. Of course, that Suicune goes down, but then... Who they choose to attack with, I really hope they don't choose with Victini VMAX. I'm just going to go with both those. Maybe. Um, I think that would be the better option. Then I could reuse someone if I need to. Like I could reuse the Inteleon again. Ludi Kahlo! Yay, Ludi Kahlo's time to shine. We need some enthusiasm here, buddy. Like the team yell grunts, we need to yell and cheer and support Suicune here. 
Don't forget. Don't screw anything up. You can still fleet foot, which I forget sometimes that he can do that. Whatever. And it is gone. We did way more than... We're here for 330. <clears throat> I forgot about the crow night, I guess. And now we put stuff down, yeah. So, wowzers. With Louis Cole, we hit for 330. That's crazy. Uh, they're going to go, don't evolve in the Victini V-Mac. You don't need to. You knock out Suicune, just as Victini V. Just as Victini. Don't let me get a free three prize, okay? Place your bets. Are they going to give us free three prizes? <laughs> All right. Uh, whoever said, yeah, they are, uh, pat yourselves on the back and uh, message below in the comments that, hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't. Um, I, I don't get it. I didn't see the point to that. I mean, really don't. I really don't need to do anything else. I guess just thin out just a little bit. Might as well flea foot. Cool. And yeah, okay. I love you, Victini. You're adorable. But your trainer shouldn't have uh, made you into the VMAX form. <laughs> And we have game in hand. No, Marnie. How could you do this to me? Either way, we have game in hand. I, I just... Oh, yeah, we, we, we... Oh, my goodness. Um... It's a bit embarrassing. Ooh, can't even, yeah. Um, good job, Dicey. It worked. Great enthusiasm, guys. Let's do another one. Awesome. Let's try out one more with Suicune. Love Suicune. Love the idea of this deck. It's always pretty neat. We're going against Mew. I'm getting tired of seeing Mew on the deck. You thought with the new stuff, Mew would be gone, but nope. All you see is Mew everywhere still, and it's just making the game boring like it was. We have all these fresh new things, and it's still, whatever, rant over. Uh, but let's see, Suicune, do what it can. Oof. Terrible. I mean, look at this. Marnie would be nice, just because <laughs> Suicune's my only, uh, Pokemon. And then I can get, uh, what do you call him? The little guy there, Sobble. And I gotta wait through all of this. What's good is that weird possibility... I need too much in order to pull it off, so it's not going to happen. But, we, you know, going second, we could have knocked out this Mew. <laughs> if we filled up our bench. So, yay, we don't get to play any supporters this turn. Um, It is what it is, and that's all that it is. But we're good for the next turn. It still sucks. But what are you going to do? Uh, 
Uh, hopefully he survives. If not, you know, we can get it back. We can Melanie. We have two Drizziles. We have... We could... We could knock out the Mew VMAX. They knock out the Suicune, we still come back and knock out the Mew VMAX. It's very possible if we keep this hand. They're going to search for a Marnie, though. Oh, I keep forgetting. The deck doesn't play Marnie. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Of course, it's the Alessa Sparkle. Not Elsa. Elsa! <laughs> that was a great scene. Uh, but, um... Of course, I forgot about that. Why am I thinking Marnie? So we're good. We can... <sighs> we can get a rare candy. We can get out a uh, quick ball. Melanie, we would just need uh, a way to retreat. That's all we would need, and we knock out this Mew VMAX. Let's do it, shall we? It's possible. It is extremely possible. What to discard with the quick ball? We already have the water energy in there, der. Um, the quick shooting Inteleon. He is not needed right now. Let's do that first. God. <laughs> of course, huh? Just perfect for them to boss it out. I should at least do some damage to it. Ah, oh, well. It would have been neat. Oh, my gosh. We lucked out anyway. Right? We do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16, 180, 210. We do just enough. We do 310. You've got to be kidding me. Let's go! Just enough! I love it. I'm so sick of this deck. So it is great to take it out. I mean, there is no skill to the Mew deck. And I've seen a lot of people misplay it, like... I get it, and you need the draw with the Genesex, but there are too many times people just waste cards so they can draw as much as they can with the Genesex. And it's like, you're out of tablets now. You're out of this now. So, of course, they get the Cramomatic. I never would get it if I played it. But, wow, I am very happy with that. I'm good. Sadly, they'll knock out our Suicune. <sighs> but, again, if we can... I feel like we should be able to? I feel like we should be able to again. Right? Or, well, obviously, we won't be able to be able to two-shot it. But here's the thing. If we put Suicune down, they boss it out and they win. That's the only problem. That is the only problem. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to, I'm going to attack with this Inteleon. I'm going to attack with Inteleon.
don't know why I grabbed that. We'll need that. And then that. Yeah. I'm just going to attack with the Intellion. We still have one, so I can grab whatever I want. We'll grab you from the next time. We'll do that. Put down another one of you. We have the Evolution Incenses. We got plenty of them. And again, I can't put Sweet King down yet, so I'm going to have That's why I grabbed the Orantelion. So next turn, they can only take one prize. Next turn... I don't think he has. Yeah, he has that on there. And if they retreat, then I'm going to have to do something else. But I don't think they're going to do that. And then, of course, they'll get this. But, yeah, otherwise, I, they just boss and win. Okay. What? What? Why would they pull out my low tad? What? I, I, why the low tad? Because they're afraid of, oh, because they're thinking I'm gonna, yeah, 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 then I can't do it again. But he's already down by one, but he's already down, I don't need that extra hundred. He already took 120. I wouldn't need it anymore. Oh, well. Interesting. I still think we can do this, though. I still think this is in the bag. Oh, they're running and hiding. Okay. Okay. Then they... Hmm. Oh, nice. All right. All right. We beat Mew VMAX, Suicune, Ludicolo. Yeah! Let's get into this now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I give the deck... I really enjoy the deck. I give it an A, a solid A. It's unique. I love the duo. They're a good. They're a good team. That Ludicolo, I think, was perfect for this deck. I think it was meant basically for this deck, and I'm glad that they're uh, hearing about it, seeing it, people talking about it. I'm glad to finally have played it, and I can see why it is just a fun deck. It's fun, and it's pretty powerful. Damage output. Uh, Suicune V alone does a decent amount of, like, uh, damage. Like, if you went second, and you can, it's, it's, it's possible to get two energy onto it, and then knock out something first turn, if they fill up their bench good enough, you fill up yours. Choice Belt added onto that, to help out, to get, like, alright, I'm taking two prizes already. <laughs> turn two, what are you gonna do? Uh, but then Ludicolo helps it go, hey, I can take out V Maxes now. Take that. Holy cow. Duty Kahlo. That is a good, enthusiastic dance, I have to say. Defense. It's got a decent defense. There's a lot of single price, so you're not going to lose too much. Sure, the sweet comes, but it's going to be a one-off, one-off type of thing. I feel like if you could go in first, you're like, I take two, they take two. You take three, they take two. So there's no three prizers, and it can turn the game possibly into they got to do two, they got to do two. They gotta knock out just one, and they gotta knock out under two, so it can go to at least a seven prize game, which is very nice. Reliability, I feel like the deck is incredibly reliable. From playing it quite a few times, winning quite a few times, it is very reliable. Uh, the Italian line really helps it out. Obviously, the fleet footing, drawing, Melanie, Raihan. Uh, it's easy to just get draw, to get the energy, the two energy costs it needs. And, of course, it's so, like, easy just to get Ludicolo out there to do that. When you need it, you don't need all the time, but you know when you need it. Be like, now's the time. Whip that boy out. Do his little dance. Tuck, 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 tuck. La, la, boom. And he's like, yeah, thanks, everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, very reliable. Weakness, I guess, electric decks. And decks that can still, like, maybe, like, Path of the Peak. Stuff like that that can just, like, Catch you off guard, or if you get bricked, or something like that. There's possibilities. Every deck has a weakness. Uh, but yeah, solid A. I love this. I love Suicune. I'm glad Suicune's very popular. It's working in not just this deck, its own deck, variations of it, and working as a 
backup attacker for other decks. If you want to go see, check out my uh, Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX deck where I did the meme for the thumbnail because you want to attack with that, but then it's like Suicune and stuff like, I don't even need, I don't need to put the three prizer out because Suicune can do it for me without the three prizer, which is a shame, but Suicune does what the three prizer can basically do. I, and I loved Ice Rider, but Suicune's amazing. Will his brother and TV be just as good? We shall see in the next one. Thank you so much. Love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, remember, this has been Professor Tizzle. <laughs>